Okay, so this is our 10 test tube mystery lab. It's kind of a fun, cool lab. Um, basically, we have well traced with a bunch of different holes in it, and each hole in there, you'll put two chemicals in there to mix. And two chemicals that you mix, you put observations down on this big chart here. So let's go over what this chart looks like and what it means. Um, this is from the practice quiz here. So basically, your you need to make sure you do your practice quiz until you know what you're doing before you take the real results quiz. This will be a real results quiz, but it will all be jumbled up. So the first table that you're given is basically um, a known table with abbreviations. Um, P is precipitate, D is disappears, GP is gel precipitate, S is smoke, SOL is solution, H is heat, and R is no reaction. So let's take a look here. We have 10 different chemicals that we're using. We have nickel 2 nitrate, aluminum nitrate, barium chloride, copper 2 nitrate, silver nitrate, calcium nitrate, ammonia, sodium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid. If you notice, the same exact order of chemicals over here are repeated on this side. So it's basically just a grid of all the 10 chemicals that we have, but they're all in order here. Nickel, nickel, aluminum, barium, copper, silver, calcium, ammonia, sodium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid, okay? So let's take a look at how we can read this table here. So why is there an X here? This X here is basically nickel and nickel, aluminum, aluminum, barium, barium, copper and copper. This like copper is here, that's copper. So these X here mean that basically you don't have to do the reaction because there's gonna be no reaction there, okay? Now, then there's a column for appearances over here. It says appearance for nickel is light green, all the others colorless, copper turns out to be blue, and then these are colorless. So it's kind of cool, you know, like some of them have color already. The colorless one will be you know, a little hard to identify, but you can take a look at all of the cool observations you have here. So let me teach you how to read the table. So with this table here, um, basically, if you want to see how nickel, nickel here, you don't have to do it because it's no reaction. Nickel and aluminum is no reaction. Nickel and barium is no reaction. Nickel and copper is no reaction. Nickel and, uh, nickel and silver, no reaction. Nickel and calcium, no reaction. Nickel and ammonia, however, you get purple solution. Nickel and sodium hydroxide, you'll get white GP. Nickel and H2SO4, you get no reaction. Nickel and HCl, you get um, smoke. So that's the observation for all the nickel. Now, if you want to go to aluminum, you're like, hold on a second, why is this box empty? Well, nickel and aluminum can actually be on over here. It's a mirror image right here. Nickel and aluminum, nickel and aluminum. You see how it's a mirror image? So usually we just leave this box empty and you can read a nickel and aluminum from like up here. So nickel and aluminum is NR, aluminum, aluminum, you don't have to do, and then we go to nickel and barium. Um, not nickel and barium, aluminum, barium, aluminum and copper, aluminum and silver, aluminum and calcium, you know, with ammonia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it just keeps going. So the cool way to read this table is basically going in L. L down, hit the X, turn right. That's for aluminum. L down for barium, hit the X, turn right. That's for barium. Okay, so um, take a look here. Silver with barium is white P. Hit the X, that's still silver, silver. Turn right, silver and sodium hydroxide is brown P. And then you can keep going. Silver and HCl, you get white P. So ammonia is really cool though, if you turn and look at ammonia. Ammonia is purple solution with nickel, with aluminum is white GP, with barium is NR, with copper is dark blue solution, white P, with silver is NR, with calcium is NR. And then you go to ammonia and see how it hits X, and then you turn right. Ammonia with sodium hydroxide is NR. Ammonia with H2SO4 and R. Ammonia with HCl has H and S, which is heat and smoke. Okay, so this is how you read the table. Basically, go down, hit the X, turn right, like an L. Okay, and all these values here that are empty are actually mirror images on the other side of the table. So 
Let's take a look at our unknown table here. Basically, the chemicals here are still the same 10 chemicals, but they're all jumbled up. Your job is to figure out who's one, who's two, who's three, four. But keep in mind, if nickel was number one, nickel is right here, and that's nickel also. If aluminum is number two, aluminum will be over here. So whatever the chemical is on both sides is going to be the same order. Okay? So let's take a look. The first thing we want to look for is color. I think color is the easiest giveaway. Number one is blue. If you take a look for blue, um, I can see the copper nitrate is blue, copper to nitrate. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and put down copper to nitrate is number one. Okay, now the next one is I know nickel was light green over here. So this guy must be nickel. Number seven must be nickel. So number seven, write down nickel here. Okay, so then we start looking for cool observation. So one that strikes me over here is um, number five with copper to nitrate gives you dark blue solution white P. Like on the entire table, there is only one observation like this. So let's look for a dark blue solution of white P and who, does, who reacts with copper to get that. So we have copper here, copper goes here, Copper with ammonia gives you dark blue solution of white P. Therefore, number five here must be ammonia. Are we all getting, hopefully we're all getting a hang of this. So basically I just figured out three of them. Now let's, let's do one more, a couple more, just to make sure you're comfortable with it. Um, let's see, um, I would say, look at number six. Number six is full of cool observations. Plus number six, um, when you react with number six goes here, and then you have, so basically number six has blue P with copper, and right here with nickel is white GP, okay? So with copper is blue P. There's only one blue P on here probably. I see blue P here. Blue P with copper, right? The copper is blue P. So blue P with copper and it's NaOH. So number six must be NaOH. Now to confirm this, you can keep going and say, how do I know it's not NaOH? Well, first of all, NaOH has a lot of cool colors. It has brown P. And then um, I also know when it reacted with nickel, there was a specific observation. Sodium hydroxide and nickel gives me white GP. So when you look over here, number six and number seven, nickel and sodium hydroxide, it is YGP. So that confirms that number six is sodium hydroxide. So let me go ahead and fill this in over here. Okay, now that part we have so far. Now another cool observation that I was just looking at is I noticed that um, there's a brown P here and I don't think anybody else has brown P. So that's another unique observation. The only guy that has brown P with sodium hydroxide, because this is sodium hydroxide right here, is silver. So let's take a look. Number six with brown P, that's the only brown P you see there, right? So that would mean this guy, number two, is going to be silver nitrate. So put silver right here. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, all you do is we've done one, two, three, four, five of them, and you can fill in the rest um, up till you get 10. Once you feel comfortable doing this with the practice quiz, go ahead and take the real results quiz. Um, basically, the whole uh, you and post that quiz is something like this: figuring out what's your chemical from the list of your knowns right here. Okay, so basically, they take out all these labels, they put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and your job is to figure out which number is what chemical. All right.